bad day at work? I'm trying to stay relevant on social media by publishing posts, reacting to my audience, listening, and monitoring. Fuck! Work is not what it used to be, huh? Didn't you hear about the new working force? Mine are working for me right now. Do I have to be worried or excited? It is up to you, son. Did you get the flowers for your mistress? My agent did. Good. Did you ever dream about having company, co-workers, or employees motivated to reach your goals? Or an automated work system that produces 24-7? In the new era, these agents or digital entities, for lack of a better term, will work for you, either for free or for a very reasonable price. You can teach them exactly what you want, how you want it, and when you want it. Let's imagine this scenario. Let's say I create movies. In the morning, I enjoy a cup of coffee while reviewing the scenes my team worked on the previous day. My screenwriter agent presents a list of improvements or alternative possibilities for the movie we are working on. I provide suggestions on how to enhance the scene, address potential story-related issues, and so on, while also considering input from my team. Through collaborative brainstorming, we come up with exciting ideas. At 10 o'clock, I have a meeting with my cinematographer to discuss shooting the next scene, and we review yesterday's footage to determine if any changes are necessary. It's Friday today. Which means our weekly meeting to review the performance of completed projects. The distribution and marketing team delivers a presentation on the performance metrics of our latest film and potential strategies for an impactful marketing campaign for the next one. In the afternoon, my producer and I discuss and brainstorm the next movie concept, including potential AI actors for the cast. In this story, there are no humans involved, only me. Every character represents an AI entity with the ability to take actions aligned with a shared goal. We all are focused in generating the best movie possible, with no egos or drama involved. I have automated my workflow based on my needs, with this AI team of assistants and agents to support me and help me out. That is what I'm doing now, imagining my perfect workday or normal day situation. And it will soon be possible in the coming years. That being said, what exactly are these AI agents? And am I prepared for this significant change? In this video, we will understand what agents are through the easiest comparison I could find after my research. We will see the capabilities of agents to understand their potential and what they can do for us. And we will explore the mind shifts I am doing so we can be prepared and aware to take action facing these upcoming changes in our lives. Why am I creating this video? Because I'm genuinely fascinated, excited, and a little bit scared about how things are evolving and changing. The example of my ideal workday that I just shared could become a reality sooner than we think. I want to invite you to adopt the mindset that I have now, as I believe it's crucial to do so, facing the rapid pace of advancements and changes that we're experiencing now. So it all began when I stumbled upon this video that, by the way, later we discovered it was fake publicity by Google, Google Gemini. This was my first encounter with the concept of agents. I've always been drawn by automatic tasks, whether through apps like Text Blaze to create quick snippets of text, or gadgets like my latest mouse from Logitech. Love this thing. Link in the description. Witnessing Gemini visually understand what was going on on screen was mind-blowing. It felt unbelievably futuristic, something straight out of a sci-fi movie. Again, it made me realize the swift pace of change and an unknown love for automation. According to OpenAI, agents will replicate our work methods, essentially mirroring our actions within software applications. For instance, Agent Studio by HyperWrite allows users to demonstrate a task once so the AI can replicate it. You can begin by simply clicking record on the dashboard. It will look at what you do and record mouse movements. From there, the AI agent will learn and store the desired task into their database. After recording your prompt and saving it, you can then edit the workflow at your convenience. Additionally, it can specify decision-making criteria and other parameters. While this technology isn't entirely reliable yet, 2024 could be a turning point where machines are going to understand human behavior through mimicking stuff that we do all day at work in front of a screen and execute tasks accordingly. AI chatbots will literally replicate what I do in my day. So, will it replace me and take my job? 
But let's be real, AI advancement seems decades away, right? Is it legitimate to be excited? As of February 2024, ChatGPT boasts over 180 million users, with an estimated 100 million monthly active users in January 2023. It is the fastest app adoption in history. Let's consider another example to see the current state of automation technology. Introducing Rabbit R1. This AI product learns from online interactions to fulfill user requests or queries, streamlining internet browsing by eliminating manual clicks. All by voice, not clicking or entering in any website. See you, marketers. The current capabilities of Rabbit would be online shopping, food delivery, calling a taxi or Uber. Of course, I will book an Uber ride for you from your office to your home and other complex tasks. The Rabbit R1 utilizes a large action model to turn human intentions into actions through imitation, allowing users to interact with a lot of applications effortlessly. Overall, the Rabbit sales success of the Rabbit R1 highlights its popularity and demand among consumers seeking innovative AI-powered devices. A total of 30,000 Rabbit R1 units have been sold, and at the time of this video, 50,000 more are coming. Agents or custom automation solutions. You're likely aware of the buzz surrounding LLMs and ChatGPT. AI agents represent the next phase in this evolution. Starting from 2024, you will start hearing about AI agents, assistants, large action models and more. This marks a significant advancement in automation, hinting at the possibilities of AGI and more. An exciting prospect indeed. Okay, this starts to get confusing. What exactly are AI agents and what purpose do they serve? Let's delve into the explanation or explanations. 1. Think of an agent as any entity capable of both thinking and acting, much like yourself in a way. Consider what thought process and actions uh, we go through when we want to search, for example, what are the best adaptations of agents. Thought. I want to know how people are using agents. Action. Search for interesting resources online. Thought. Reddit could be a good place. Action. Browse through Reddit articles. And so forth. This basic interaction mirrors what LLMs, chatbots, AI assistants do. They receive an objective and they produce a result. So are they agents or not? 2. An AI agent is a broad term that refers to any computer program capable of performing tasks that typically require human intelligence. AI agents can be built using various different technologies or systems, not just language models like GPT. As you can see during my research for this video, I encountered common confusion surrounding the definition of AI agents. AI related terms like assistants, chatbots, GPTs, copilots, etc. Confusion. A familiar problem, as always in this AI research journey. To understand this better, I found an analogy quite helpful. Coming from Nicholas Holland from the podcast Marketing Against the Grain. Link in the description. It's a very good podcast. Think about LLMs like Stephen Hawking. This scientist had a degenerative health issue that locked him into a wheelchair for the rest of his life. What did he have at his disposal? He had thought and had language, but he had not action. So there are a vast amount of things that as human he couldn't do. LLMs have vast amount of knowledge and the only tool they have to use it is language. AI agents would be like Stephen Hawking, but with the ability to do a click. This distinction enables agents not only to think, but also to execute actions. AI agents possess the ability to automate tasks, make informed decisions, and adapt to changes. A critical feature in the rapidly evolving landscape of work and technology. They are systems that I can fine-tune and train with data, that will have the ability to be autonomous to do certain tasks, taking the required actions. Or AI employees that will do very complex tasks. To make it visually understandable, we'll think about a profile that defines who they are and what's their role. They will have memory, short and long-term memory. They will have the ability to plan, break down a big goal into subtasks, and they will execute actions, complete tasks with different tools and APIs. The next step of these AI agents will be an independent program or entity that interacts with its environment by perceiving its surroundings via sensors, then acting through actuators or effectors. Arnold Schwarzenegger. The key takeaway here is that AI agents represent the next stage in the evolution of AI systems. Don't be intimidated by the term. It is simply a more sophisticated way to define the next upgrade of digital entities we've been seeing for the past couple of months. It's like a more sophisticated Alexa. Not as sexy as Agent Smith, though. Give it a couple of years. What tasks can these AI agents perform? Potential applications of agents extend far beyond work tasks and into various aspects of our lives. Consider the following tasks that AI agents can handle. Answering questions and providing information, adjusting hardware settings on devices, scheduling events and alarms, reading text or email messages aloud, looking up phone numbers, 
placing phone calls, reminding users about appointments, assisting with customer service through chatbots, analyzing investments data in finance, interacting with patients in healthcare settings, controlling smart home appliances, managing calendars and to-do lists. For instance, Microsoft Copilot is an excellent example of an AI agent assisting users with a range of tasks. The term agent may seem like a fancy way to describe AI integration into our lives, but it emphasizes the agent capabilities to automate tasks, make informed decisions, and adapt to changes dynamically. Memory, planning, world modeling, self-reflection, and spatial navigation are among the capabilities that AI agents are equipped with. As technology advances, we will witness the emergence of autonomous agents capable of executing complex tasks autonomously. Now, let's address the burning question. Will AI agents replace jobs? And how can individuals prepare for this potential shift? If you dislike your job or perform it in a mediocre level, you might indeed be replaced. However, if you're putting hours, effort, curiosity, you're open to change and to being adaptable. You have the desire to learn and get better at something that you like and that you think that it's important in some way. AI agents will be a plus that will allow you to increase the value of whatever it is that you're doing. The mental shifts that I'm going through to navigate this transition effectively and that I think that individuals should focus on are reflect on your motivations and aspirations, considering whether your current life and work paths align with your long-term goals. I had to ask myself this hard question. Why are you doing what you're doing? Maybe you will have to go through some changes, but it is going to be worth it. If you spend your time in something you dislike, a robot is going to do it way better than you do. Think about what your dream job would be. Who would you like to work with and who would you need to create your perfect job or life? Technological changes will level us up and give us the potential for abundance. I think that now is the perfect time to start implementing a mental shift, be imaginative and start having fun. I really do think that. My experience with cinema is a good example. Facing the feeling of being doomed in my cinema career, thanks to the incoming AI innovation, I ask myself, how would I have fun doing cinema? I am routing down a process that will allow me to do so. I will be able to have my own personal production company team force to create my own projects. On the point of being replaced, I took the decision to invest in creating a strong digital presence, as this can distinguish individuals in a competitive landscape and make them less replaceable by AI. We'll have to find new ways to survive. The second mental shift. Start thinking as the owner of a company instead of an employee, or if you will, a project manager. Not long ago, I was pursuing the path of being a film director. In this path, I knew that I was going to have to deal with people that would be above me in the hierarchy structure of film industry, people that may or may not have the same goals as I do. I know the industry well enough to know that I was going to have to fight and to waste a lot of mental and emotional energy to do what I wanted to do. Now I will be able to do it in my own way. This situation offers us a new opportunity to develop new capabilities in areas of management and leadership and develop essential skills such as effective communication, delegation and problem solving, as this will remain valuable in a rapidly evolving workplace. To be successful, you will need basic knowledge of all the areas that you're seeking help with. With it, you will be way more efficient communicating what you need to your agents. I really like the idea of the near renaissance man or a one man's show. Like that. And another thing to think about is the quality of your data set will define the quality of your output. And the third mindset shift. Adopt a proactive mindset and stay curious about technology and the future, as understanding emerging trends and technologies will be crucial for staying relevant in the workforce and position yourself for success in the era of AI-powered work. Let's see my framework to leveraging AI agents to streamline operations and enhance productivity and work on my automation mindset. Create a list of tasks you do in your day. How can I automate them? You will in one year. Once you have ideas, list the problems you have to solve at your work or your life. What are the goals I want to accomplish? How would you combine fundamental capabilities, text, video, sound, etc. to accomplish that? Again, now is the time to be imaginative and have fun. But if I'm not a tech guy, I'm not. This is not about engineers anymore. In the case of LLMs, prompt engineering is opening the door to a lot of non-technical people to use technology. And increasingly user-friendly interfaces will make this integration possible, easier and enjoyable. Listen what Jensen Huang, the CEO of NVIDIA, has to say about it. I'm going to say something, and it, it's, it's going to sound completely opposite um, of what people feel. Uh, you, you, you probably recall, uh, over the course of the last 10 years, 15 years, um, almost everybody who sits on a stage like this would tell you it is vital 
that your children learn computer science. Um, everybody should learn how to program. And in fact, it's almost exactly the opposite. It is our job to create computing technology such that nobody has to program. And that the programming language, it's human. Everybody in the world is now a programmer. This is the miracle. This is the miracle of artificial intelligence. For the very first time, we have closed the gap. The technology divide has been completely closed. And it's the reason why so many people can engage artificial intelligence. It is the reason why every single government, every single industrial conference, every single company is talking about artificial intelligence today. The nature of work will change, driven by advancements in AI and automation. Jobs will be eliminated and others will be created. Society will have to adapt to this new paradigm and hopefully, with this promised abundance of economical capital produced by AI and automation, we will be able to take care of the basic needs of our people. I'm going to leave for another video how I see the future of agents, like a lot of agents interacting by themselves, agents that hire other agents, things are going to get pretty wild. When agents will be assisting us in our jobs and literally doing our job, Will this make us be less productive and more lazy? I don't think so. The only way I see it we can survive is if we do what we really like. A place where we can invest a lot of hours having fun. And adapt AI to make us better at what we do. Basically providing better value. The thing that I'm confident to say out loud is, this shit is going fast. I won't get tired of reiterating. Everybody wants to be the most efficient. Marking a new era of time management. Those who are pioneers in integrating AI agents in their life and work will have an insulting advantage over those who do not. So, would you like to start creating an agent with me and get early into the game, click here to discover how. Thanks for your time and stay kind.